Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Denny J Show. Sila. Location. Sila. My jacket is making noise. Like a the baddest podcast anywhere on YouTube. Is that correct, Becky? The baddest, the baddest, the baddest. Whether you like it or not. The maddest. You test corner. Yes. Nothing you can do about it. I'm joking. Denny J I'm joking. is here. But we're good. Becky K is here. P. Lodza is here. Nash is back. We haven't, we haven't seen Nash in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Nash. Hey. Nash, what's good, bro? Danny J. <laughs> the people been asking, where's Nash? You know, they like that cocky, those cocky comments in the background and shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And some, some were even getting ambitious and saying, you must come in front of the camera. Mm. Very ambitious. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, it's, la- it, it, it's late for everybody if Nash comes in front of the Yeah, camera. it's like, over. Then we have to, you know, we'll wrap we'll up lose, the show. Yeah, we we'll just have to wrap up the show. Yeah. And, and, and like, I thank you all for supporting it. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they're ready yet. No, they're not. So today is a special day. Absolutely. We have so many day. special days. But today is very special. We have, um, uh, who do we have? Becky K. I, I are we getting right into it? I thought you were going man. to ask me how are you and all of that. <laughs> no, you, you're fine. You look fine. Uh, I know uh, you, you're being guys, fine. Guys, it's all right. Um, so <laughs> our guest, our guest today, is a uh, is a songbird. Right. Yes, I think I'll, I'll term her songbird mm-hmm. because I after like after like really song. really listening to her voice, her yes. vocals. Oh man. Zimbabwe is a blessed country, um, mm. yeah, but she shares her talent internationally. Um, she's a singer-songwriter, musician, but best known as a vocalist and a bassist. Do you know what they say about girls who play the bass, my guy? What do they say? I don't even know. Okay. Um, <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and she's been a bassist for the English indie rock and the band Noisettes. Bassist? That's like Machesa. Machesa is a bassist, right? I think so. Anyone who plays the bass. Is that it? Anyone who plays... Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. So she should have brought a guitar and then she would have done a, a machete so far. I, 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 love, how talented she is. I love the bass guitar. I absolutely love the sound. Yeah, I think it yeah. carries like the song. Mm-hmm, uh, in 2017, she launched her solo career and released her debut solo album in 2020. She was born on the 1st of September 1981 and she is professionally known as... Shingai. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Shingai, Shingai is in the building. Um, I, I, I have a confession to make. What's the confession? Uh, when she came out on, on that Winky D launch, yeah, and then they were doing their song, mm-hmm. I had no idea who she was. But you loved the voice, right? You amazing, were like, amazing. You were like, and who you bore, man? Yes, and then, right. lo- and then loads of reminded me who she was. So I actually kind of knew. I had, you didn't know. Oh, you, you, you had an idea of who I had an idea. I of who was you totally are. off. <laughs> I, was I was like, like who's she's this, beautiful. Who's this chick? And then, <laughs> and then I spent time like trying, like looking for the music, especially when you mentioned the group Noisettes. I was like, I've heard that before. Yeah, like, that was like ages ago. That's like an indie rock. Is that what it is? Indie rock group. Is that what uh, the Noisettes are? What do you call them? Um, we're genre fluid. I'm a creative maverick, so I can dip into any genre I am feeling. Depends nice. on how we feel on the day. But yeah, a lot of people associate us with guitar music, soul, mm-hmm. bit of rock and roll, all that kind of vibes, bit of jazz in the vocals. Yeah. yeah. All right, so there's people watching now who don't know that you did a particular song. Ah. So we're going to give this time to you to just be like, hey, this is me. I mm-hmm. did this. Hey, is, is that like no pun intended, right? There we go. Hey. <laughs> ah, listen, it's so... Really beautiful to be back here in Zim. Zim is lit, and today is no ordinary day because I came around. I got my feet on the ground. So much for that turn. And it's all because I heard you say, What did I hear? I um, heard you say, Hey, hey, I heard you say, Hey, hey, I heard you say, Hey, hey, and I heard you say. Yeah. Now watch, I'm going to be using that song so, on my Instagram reels. Yeah. I'm just going to be like, on it, on it, on it, on and, it, on and, it, on and it. And you know what's so messed up about 
we, we used to rock to that song. We didn't even know it was you who did that song. Because it's, it's on the song, I don't think you're credited enough, right? No. You know what? It's, it's, it happens to a lot of women, especially in the house industry. No okay. shade, but shade. But this kind of culture of like not crediting, even saying, you know, this voice um, behind some of the tracks that we know and love is so a and featured so. artist. Yeah. But, you know, there's still a lot of work to do. There's still a bit of cleaning up to do in the industry. And it's still very male domina dominated. And it's still just, yeah, needs to put some respect on the voices that we sing along to every day that, like you, don't know the yeah. name behind the voice. So how does it work in the industry? Like, um, you just get a call, uh, we need you to do these vocals. You just do the vocals, you get paid for the vocals, and then what happens to the song's got nothing to do with you? There's so many different ways it works. Um, you know, I, I just feel that it's, it's a bit of a long story to go into. Are you okay. like a ghost but singer people for should. some of the artists? Because I heard that's a thing, like a ghost singer where they call yeah, you a lot, in a, a because lot of the artist cannot called, hit yeah. certain notes. A lot of singers just get called in to, to, to do hooks and to, you know, give vibes and their energy mm -hmm. to what is really kind of a, a, re a lot of regular beats. So for me, I really feel like you need a voice to ignite anything. That's, that's such a big part of, of, of music and why we love it. And right. we, I mean, instrumental music is beautiful as well, mm -hmm. but there's something about is we. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jeans what? I answer to yeah. Shalanti, is. 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 So, so, some, some people don't pay vocalists what a lot of people don't pay vocalists what they should because you know they're they're not often invited into the publishing income which is the greater income and that's a sustainable income so you know you can give somebody a grand you can give someone 500 mm -hmm. but is re is that really the value of the is we when that song goes on to make millions that's it hey, that's hey, it right that's so how how yes, then do you charge all. how then do you charge for it because you know the song is going to well, be a hit the way that i have done it is as you said um i launched um i i, I managed to um get out of a uh, uh, quite a suffocating record deal where actually the noisettes still don't have a lot of rights over our own creativity. Listen, oh. I'm not mad because right now I've got my own label. I launched Zimtron Records in 2019. Right. Nice. So, nice. so the, way to, the way to get around it is to be independent. So mm -hmm. when you say, you know, payments, what do you charge? If you've got a team around you, right, that are responsible for your dreams, right, how can someone put a price on you if you don't even have the confidence to charge what you're worth? I think, you know, it's definitely affects more females and a lot of, you know, a, a, a lot of melanated people because when we're out there and that side, we're often made to feel like we're lucky to just have the opportunity. But then once you start doing the numbers and you right. realize who's, like, who's actually making who's the actually money, making you're better money. off being independent and just getting that bravery, being bold and going for it. So the way I got around it was to set up my own label and now we can, you know, we can increase the value and hopefully I can inspire other people that black ownership is the way to go forward. Mm. Nice. And uh, the noisettes, do they still exist? We Right or now, we're on a hi hiatus. Let's just say, it's, let's say we're on ice. Because mm -hmm. right now, like, um, even if I want to post, uh, let's say, um, Never Forget You, which right. has had over 3 billion streams Whoa. in the last year. That song is 12 years old, but because, you know, like... I'm having a bit of a big up my chest moment, but we write timeless music. I write timeless music. I'm not like a fad. I'm not. I'm not here for the clicks and likes. I'm here for okay. contributing to amazing black female musical legacy. Like I, I don't play around. When I get in the studio, I put my cans on and I really, really go for it. Right? Cans meaning headphones. We talked about that. Yes, earlier. we just got this lesson. So, we got our so, cans so, on. so yeah, the issue with the noisettes is, for example, if I want to post, you know, um, it's huge on TikTok. Like millions of people have done videos. You know, near long, so many amazing people have done um, videos with that music in it. Mm -hmm. But if I was to post it on my on my social media, a little sign comes up comes up and says Universal Music has blocked that video. You cannot use it. So I can it's my use face, it. I it's can, my image that I, my mum gave me. I can use it, but you can't. No. Can I do it on TikTok? Can I? No, I can. No, no, no. We've 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 we've, we've done, You can use it for TikTok. Yeah. But they own oh. they own the rights to it. So this yeah. is something that, like, me, this is where you as know an African writing. child, 
Yeah, it's no, not right. In, no copyright infringement intended. But I'm not mad. I'm not mad because, because I'm independent now. And, you know, the music that I'm making now is just even, it's even more lit. I'm in a much more freer place, a more confident place in myself. And I'm grateful for the support of Noisettes, of all the other music that I've lent my energy to. But now, it, this what is happening now, right here, yeah. Shingai, like, oh, having cool, a homegrown hit. That's it. Yo. Yes, like, it's crazy. Like, I never dreamed, you know. Cool, I like Having it. a homegrown hit was what it was all about for me. Everything that I've done with the Noisettes mm -hmm. yeah. was aimed at driving creative, cultural pride and prosperity in the motherland, Zimbabwe. Yeah, so, so how do you feel when... Um, when you've done so much overseas and you, you've got recognition overseas and then you come back home and then pe people don't recognize you? <laughs> How does that feel for you? D does that feel messed up I, for you? I, you know, I don't really need to be out in the streets getting recognized. Like, to be honest, even if I wasn't a musician, mm -hmm. I am, like, I'm quite a flamboyant person. Like, you know, us Zimbas, we love our swag. Mm -hmm. So I would probably, like, people come up to me like, oh, I love your colors, I love your style. You know, I call it Bantu flamboyance. And mm -hmm. you have to also remember that growing up in the diasporans, we really idolize home because mm -hmm. we're often made to feel like we're the minority. Mm -hmm. We're often, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, just say it, racism and otherism that we've experienced. So for us, like, displaying your Africanness or your Zimbabweanness right. is something that we wear with like a badge of honor. So I'm not out here trying to expect Zimbabweans to, you know, give me, I, I don't feel entitled. I just feel like as long as what I'm doing makes a positive difference here, it's good. Like I'm, I'm a fun person. I'm a soccer. I like to have a good time. Like it's just, I wanted that homegrown hit to show people in Zim that as someone who is very successful from the outside, platinum selling, rah, 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 I wanted to show them that, you know what, I did that and still raised the flag high. Because a lot of people go and they make it in the diaspora and they forget about their roots, so like, uh, where they came from and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to be recognized. It's yeah. nice when you know the songs, though. That's right, yeah. Please. So <laughs> we are definitely going to yeah. talk a little more about uh, the song you did with Winky D. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. But before we get to that, uh, let's talk a bit about your history, right? right. Um, you are Zimbabwean British, according to... Uh, when we were researching you. Yes. Tell us what that means, Zimbabwean British. Thank you. Um, well, <laughs> what it means is that you got it right because you put the Zimbabwean first. I like that, yeah. Hey. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, you the know, Zimbabwean must come let's first. Let's not give these guys the credit, Shaq. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. You know, um, so yeah, for me being Zimbabwean is, I guess I'm proud of like the way I was raised. I'm from a family of very, very strong, strong women. My mum's a Shumba, you know, and she raised me with, hey, Chipo. Yes, we just see that our makeup artist <laughs> Chipo is also a proud uh, Shumba. Right, for those that are just listening, but it uh, for me Zim, Zim, Zimness is about it's about the values. We're a very very like young nation, so um, you know we've had a very very short time to show what we can do on the world stage. Mm -hmm. But we have a lot of energy. We are we're very like I just feel like we're amazing people. We're, we are. We're we're, we're, we're just it's, it's, it's the values. It's the gogo. -go, it's the tetes. It's you know the guambira. I saw you do that. It's all those I things. saw you doing that um, yeah. right before the show. Is 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 that something that you do all the time before you perform? Before you get into anything? Before I go into any space where right. I'm gonna like share my energy, I always give thanks. I give thanks and praise to the Most High, to you know to our great ancestors. And um, I just give thanks. And usually my interviews or whatever I'm doing just tend to be better. C prayer calms me. Like, I'm a prayerful right. person. It makes me calm. And, and, and that's a very Zimbabwean thing as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, we so don't play when it comes to, you so know. The yeah. what yes. you're doing so, you, so you're born to Zimbabwean parents? Yeah. You were born in the UK? Yeah, South London, baby. Okay. So, <laughs> so how, 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 how Zimbabwean are you in terms of uh, the language? Hmm. Guys, please don't show shame me. It, I need a lot. We're not. Work. No, it, it, it's not Shona yeah. shaming. We, we just want to know, like, no, I, you guys don't. But let me be real. Like, I love my family, but when mm. I come here, my family they always laugh. They do, and mm. and they, they they don't mean it in a bad way when I say don't Shona shame me. They're doing it because they actually are trying to help me improve. Because if everyone goes like in England, yeah, you, you know, if you speak another another language, even if you don't get the grammar right, they're like, oh my god, your English is amazing. Amazing. Oh, mm. wonderful. Oh, you're absolutely fine. And they don't correct you. So then you've got people running around actually not speaking English, but they think they are because we don't, we're, we're too polite to tell people when they're not. Zimbas will just say, hey, 
we, we don't say it like that. Come on, one angle, try again. So, so I think it's good. So, yeah, so and it needs okay. work. So apart from <laughs> apart from the word usadaro, what other what, <laughs> what, what other words? What other words do you have in your vocabulary? E, what words do I say? I say um. Uh, what what do I say a lot of time? I say kujins wa ere. That's something I say a lot because it's something my mum said. Way. I love yakadai so. <laughs> the way women you know what, say that you know is what's so hot. Me. Yeah. <laughs> it's how she's changing her accent, her voice tone. To, to shonarize it. You gotta you gotta you gotta put the deep. Listen, you have to use a different to speak shona. Yeah, you have to use a different. Face muscle. It's a whole different <laughs> muscle in your face. Like, seriously. Your shoulders just drop. And Tell like, me which muscle me. group do you use this big shot? I think, I think, I, I don't know, my upper body somewhere. somewhere. Oh, yeah. So, guys, please, like, you know, help me. I, I want to okay. improve. First so, of so, all, you don't have to go that deep. So, like, tell, tell, tell us about the, your parents. When did they go to the UK? Um, so They're both Zimbabwean, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I guess my parents would have been born in what was then called... Salisbury. Okay. Um, yeah. So they went to the UK. <laughs> so they, they went to the UK um, when? Like yeah, in the so, 80s? So in the yeah, yeah. So they left during the Chimurenga, the second oh. Chimurenga for independence. So they ran away. So le- yeah. No, they, they, <laughs> <laughs> with all due respect, they went, went into exile. Okay. Because cool. they were on the right side of free. free so freedom. they ran away. Like so I'm a, pr- I'm a proud daughter of freedom fighters and okay. I don't take that. No. Did they ever tell Amazing. you any Amazing. of the stories? So, yeah. so they were with, um, were they with the Zipro forces, uh, Zanu uh, or Zapu? Because remember you had Zanu and Zapu and then you had people um, yeah. who were working in exile in Zambia and all around the world. So I'm learning, and then of, I'm learning more about that. I'm mm. actually learning more about that. And to be fair, mm-hmm. that is something that I'm going to give Amai Chipo, my beautiful mom, I'm going to give her the chance to tell her story. Because, again, I was raised by a Zimbabwean mom, and we don't, do you know what I mean, go on radio right. and tell yeah. the story. So, yeah. so um, <laughs> all I know <laughs> is they fought for freedom. She's like I so was born in the UK, but my mom is still Zimbabwean. My, yeah. my mom is far. But listen, anyone who knows my Chipo, everyone calls her my chipo that side she actually really nurtured um in the 80s and 90s when a lot more di- diasporans were coming over yep. she has nurtured the zimbabwean community in the uk in such a beautiful way and also her and my uncle sekuru wala who recently passed away um he's one of the founders of the africa center and they had an amazing cultural club called club limpopo they brought people like manu dibango they brought the four brothers they brought the the bundle boys so she's always brought zim culture my father i can't speak for because he passed when i was when i was 10 oh, so he never recovered from you know that exile and i guess the battle scars that he um imp- that he in- were induced so um for me right now i'm learning and i'm also still he- healing so i can't necessarily like throw that story out so if you want to know more about that i would recommend I you that. listen to a song called ghost town battle scars and i'm talking about for the first time on too bold because now I'm independent i can sing about what i want and in the way that i want right, right. and i talk about it in my music so that's like my healing space and that's where i learn about you know the things that you were asking me nice. earlier. Uh, so sorry to hear about your dad passing on at the age of 10 sorry. really really sorry about that uh, but then that left your mother yeah. The job and the task to raise you into this amazing woman that you are now. We what are some of the things, before you answer, what are some of the uh-huh. things that your mother instilled in you that you still use today, like now? I know when you're young, you're just like, mm, my mom needs a, she just she doesn't want me to shine. Like, why is she stopping me from doing that and all of that? But then now you are like uh, 40s. I'm so blessed. I am so blessed for like having a mom like, Everyone knows Amai Chipo. Most people in that side know Amai Chipo. She's like just a proud, funny, witty, resilient Shumba. Mm-hmm. Um, I know we've got some other Shumbas in the house today. Yeah. 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 Chipo. Yeah. Yeah. By Chipo. Rep your ends, Shumbas. So, yeah, but, I mean, you know, considering that she had to leave um, in exile, as I said earlier, you know, um, she, she left when she was only like 16, 17. Do you know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. you know, she had a lot 
to learn and she had to learn on the ground fast. She arrived in the UK when, you know, the things that we experience now in terms of otherism and racism and all of the misalignments, she experienced that when it was even worse. Do you know what I mean? There was no Black Lives Matter. There was no, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was NF, National Front, you know, go back to your own country. No dogs, no blacks, no Irish. Yeah. So um, I'm so proud of the values that my mum instilled in me. And she was not actually that mum who was like super strict and you can't do that. Actually, okay. actually, my dad was the strict one. You know, he comes from a family of academics. <coughs> His brother was one of the first barristers here in the Senate. You know, John Shawniwa, they did big things, the Shawniwa boys. Right. So, um, you know, they're, they're Soko or Chishawasha guys, you know, so... They were big, I guess what you got called mdadas, I guess, today. <laughs> my dad. My dad. So, so in, in the absence of that, mum filled our life with so much joy, so much music. Her brother was an amazing drummer, um, Oswald, who drummed with like so many amazing bands, like the Four Brothers, um, et cetera, bands that were coming from South Africa, Congo, all this kind of stuff. She's a creative lioness who... Um, I think that her her dreams got a little bit deferred because of the the uh, the chimurenga, the tra- you know the trauma and the shock of having to build a life for herself as a teenager, and then obviously like losing a husband, like you know. All Did this she kind meet of your stuff. dad in Zim? Did they? Yeah. So. They that, met here. That's like a cute little love story. It's it's beautiful. Aww. That's why I'm saying I want her to tell her story, Denny, because yeah. we were saying earlier. <laughs> I, I couldn't even be, I, I'm not worthy to tell her story because the way this oh, woman, man. she's so witty, the one like, come on, one liners. It's mm-hmm. literally, she can make you laugh and cry in a heartbeat, but it's all, it's usually tears of joy. So yeah, the values are things like, you know, just kindness, do unto others. And also do you boo, you know, I'm actually a twin. So, um, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Nice. So do a, a boy, a girl, go. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. My sister, she's amazing. Does she look like you? Sure, I very, very it's just different. Yeah, very different. Yeah, we complement each other, but very different. And so, yeah, the the values instilled were like, in terms of the Zim values, mm-hmm. it was very yeah. much like, don't forget where you came from. Even though you're born and raised in South London, and you know, like we were saying off camera earlier, a lot of the predominant cultures. You know, in the 90s and noughties when I was a kid, you know, it was very much like, you know, uh, Jamaican, Caribbean, Nigerians, Ghanaians. And then we were kind of like, you know, um, a bit more fresh off the boat because we, we you know, we're, we're, we're young. We only got our independence 40 years ago. So it was amazing to grow up with someone who managed to hold on to her culture, mm-hmm. but also manages managed to help those who were coming so she's really well known for helping a lot of diasporans that came over settling in south london her and my uncle walla um god rest his soul he passed away last month so he's at his body is actually arriving today everyone knows walla danga in the music scenes people like fred zindi are very close friends with him Mm -hmm. he was the person that set up the whole kind of like um the Bantu music scene. So he was flying over, they were flying over musicians like Manu Dibango, Hugh Masakela, <coughs> Claude Depa, the Bundu boys when they were, when they were touring with, with Madonna. That's why your girl here, Shing, like my, I am my, I'm so mu- creatively and musically and culturally yeah, experienced it's in your veins. because of my mum. It's, yeah. the, it's all, it's all And she natured it. Like she, she made did. sure that, hey, okay, I can see my daughter loves this. Yeah. And let me assist her. Let me, I'm sure she's just like so she, proud of you. She was, she, oh, she's amazing. She's actually coming soon. Um, I even like yeah she's she's just so beautiful it, she said the she, way your face is lighting yeah, up yeah, yeah she's, mom. she's yeah. a breast cancer survivor she's a stroke survivor you, you can't knock this one down she's here She's here and um, she still continues to inspire not only me, but a lot of diasporans. And she just always like, like a proper lioness, like a shumba. Mm-hmm. She defends her own, but she always defends just anything that is wor- that the, the worthy causes, you know. So I'm, 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 I, 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 literally I owe most of who I am today to my chipo. <laughs> and, so, and, and even the little like like we were saying earlier as well like the monitoring of the sadza, of the sadza yeah like i can only literally cook, cook sadza in those kango pots because she tried god, god god bless her she tried to teach me to cook sadza kango is the way in the those truth. english pots and i just i can only seem to get it right when i'm here or when like people bring over 
the Kango pots because mm-hmm. the dice borer. Those are the black ones, right? It, they, well, now they're like well, in now different they're like colors. Steel now. Yeah, and, and now they're like in uh, cast it's iron and all family. of that. It's okay, the, it's the, okay. The sadza is in the handle. It's the handle. Mm. I don't mean Black social media. Outside, it's that's that's size. the original handle. Mm. That can go pot handle. Yeah, you, you can't go wrong. So on a scale of one to ten, your sadza. Ah, seven. Okay, seven. No, seven, seven, seven is, is good. Seven is an A. Seven is edible. I once ah, had it's a, edible. Yes, it's edible. I once <laughs> had a really bad experience with um with cooking sadza. What are you on? Are you on seven? I, I'm I'm on like on eleven. Yeah. Ah. My nigga. Hey, you do, do, hey, do, do, do the one in the big drum though. Is that when I no, see no, no. I'm petrified? The, the 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 drum no. I I, I think the <laughs> the biggest um one I can do um is it the 14 liters or something like that? The pots got liters? Yeah, man. Yeah, bro. My that, size is no, oh, no. no. Kuna size four, four. size two. In I think the yeah. size two. The 14 liter big pot. Hello. He. 14 liters. 14. Liters. One four. 40, excuse you. That's a lot of sata. No, so yeah. it's, it's like the size two pot because when it's size four, because it's a drum rear and then there's a size three. The one just before that one where it's got the big mugoti that you can use. Yeesh. I can do that one. Okay. Then there's one that you, you mourn like you are rowing a boat. <laughs> <laughs> no, that one. No, that's sorry. That's the fun. one that, that petrifies me in Kumusha. That's that's no. the one. That's goals though. Sadza goals. Ah, sadza goals. I'm telling. You. Okay, so with mom <laughs> teaching you all of this, yeah. obviously she spoke to you about uh, anatete. Yeah. Like the tetes, and you know the nyayas that tetes bring. Eh? <laughs> Dramas. Yes. So and anatete, have they been on your case about why you're not married? Oh, where is this? And why aren't you married? Are you a problem? That song is a Jenny. that song is a hit. Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> why would you I assume I'm not, she's I'm a not problem? Not returning that don't even <laughs> don't. I'm not returning it. Why you know, would you I assume we were put your hand down? Why would you assume we're she's friends? no? No, it's a question. I'm not. I'm just asking. <laughs> so why aren't you married? Currently, we are ringless, mm-hmm. but you know, project project. Development is 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 happening. The project, You're in the studio on the, the project. project. Is, yeah, right now okay. I have five amazing kids, and they are all my albums. And we're looking forward to expanding that family to actually include hum- humans. Uh, I like that. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, right. now you can. All right, <laughs> now you okay, can okay, okay. all right. I like that. I like so that. yeah, we're working on that. But you know, you know, the aunties are just yeah, they're 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 definitely. They're definitely over it now. They're over that question. And I'm like, yeah. auntie, just so soon. Just leave it alone. You, you, d- you did ask the question about the relationship. The, yeah, so w- that's where I'm getting to. Oh, I see right. where we're going. Yes. Do that's I need to have a, si- a sip? Please. A sip like, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's okay. have more wine, please. So did that, so did that is that it? Yeah, did that is that it. What does that mean again? Uh, should we fill it up? Ah, no, mm. no, 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 no. <coughs> okay. I'm, not a da- I'm not a day drinker, guys. I just don't want to see people drink alone because I'm not rude like that. Oh, you're, so. oh you're I was well raised, I told no, you. Okay, so she's polite. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On the Denny Day show, they drink no, all day. Now me and Denny are best friends again. Mm, yeah. Oh, now you're we best go, friends go, again. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the, dat- the dating scene with Anatete in the picture. Um, you being born and raised in London. Obviously, there's a lot that goes on there. There's lots of nationalities and lots and lots of characters. Lots of options is what lots you're saying. Lots of options. Yes. Options. I like that. Yeah, options. Yes. What have, some, um, what have been some of your most instru- interesting options and then some options where you're like, Mm-mm, not doing that again? Sis, honestly, it's, <laughs> it's been a journey. But... Um, yeah, one of the most inter- let me call it swipe because now people are swipe. doing these things. So swipe left, I swipe left. Yeah, swipe exactly. Right. So I once swipe swipe right on an English guy. Um, you know, very like well spoken gentleman. I won't say his name, bless him, on camera. No acrimony though. Having said that, and when I introduced him to the family and the tetes, the f- the first thing that obviously they said is, oh, you know, what's what what's your name? You know, where are you from? He said his name. They were like ah. Okay, Cruz. Ah, Cruz. And he was like, no, no, my name is... He said, oh, okay, Cruz, Cruz. And and they, he kept saying his name. And then by the time it was like four or five times, we were like, m- you know, me and mom just had to be like to him, this is just what Zimbabwean aunties do. Once they give you a name, a nickname, that's your name. Please just take it. For his, life. Yes, and don't correct it them. It wasn't until later he realized they were calling him Cruz because to them... Muzungu men, you know, Tom, Tom Cruise, because that was their favorite. <laughs> that was my auntie's favorite actor. So she was just literally through the entire so relationship. Cruise, like, Cruise, that is oh, Cruise, what's going on with Cruise? Where's Cruise? 
That would always be. Did that did that work with Cruz or was it Mission Impossible? I can I can do it all day. Shit. Listen, let's just say, yeah. I mean, you know, for 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 it's worth. It tells you a lot about Zim humors, you know, and um. And I think it's probably an anecdote that him and his family will be able to laugh about forever because uh-huh. Zim humor, as we've now seen yeah. from Denny, there we go. It's, 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 that was it's a, a good thing. one, man. That was it's a thing. So that was fun. That was fun. And then you know maybe there was um, there was there was a South African in the mix at one point, Guinea Bissau at one point, South African. But you know, here's I, the thing with diasporans. Yeah. In terms of my options that you said. In the diaspora, there are not that many Zimbabwean men. I was about to ask, which I'm not hearing so Zimbabwe in there. What's happening? Ah, they weren't th- physically present. Physically present. Because what you will notice, actually, which a lot of people don't know about the diaspora, is that in terms of the Zim diaspora, it's mainly women. So for some reason, a lot of Zim men are choosing to go to America. They go to South Africa. Or, or we are there, but we are always on the shift. <laughs> on the shift. Damn. You don't, you don't get to see drinking? us. We'll be at work. What are you drinking? What are you doing? Yes, yeah, we are there. Rum you must look. Whiskey. You must look closer. What are you drinking? <laughs> ah, whiskey. I ah. see now. Okay. It's no, not no, honestly, a lot of the jobs that like the very very smart Zimbabweans mm. are fulfilling and doing. A lot of it is in the care work and, you know, NHS, all these kind of sectors. Mm -hmm. And that just has more women in it than men. So, um, you know. So that's your excuse for not dating one of ours? I don't need an excuse because me, I I follow my heart. Did you try? Did you you try? I'm pro-black love. So um, I'm I'm not the kind of person, maybe it's my job or my position, but I'm not going to go and something has to come, come naturally. So black is black. Okay, so you, you, yeah, you didn't no. go out no of your way to look from. for a black man I did. from Zimbabwe. Oh, listen, after cruise, I've been I've been strictly <laughs> strictly melanin, like for sure. Like I had my experience, and you know, no regrets. But I what was the problem? What, what was the problem? Black families, black babies, smiling, <clears throat> laughing. I'm I'm here for it. So so, you, so yeah. um, black black guys are better than white guys. Me, I don't compare, and um, those kind of notes are probably <sighs> best left for off the record. Because we ain't trying to. She doesn't want to yeah. give us one. We ain't no, trying to do that kind of okay. You know, there's that uh, saying: once yeah, you go black, Shanghai? you never go back. But size wise. <laughs> Come on! Wow, did you actually say that? Yes, the people want to know. It's how you. Let's just say it's it's it's, it's, it's how you operate, and rhythm <gasps> rhythm is a big part of that. So Cruz was blessed or not blessed? <laughs> let's 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 just leave it at sliding doors. Okay, let's just let's just say <laughs> that chapter yeah. has the motion closed. of the ocean. Yeah, that, and that, not the size that of the chapter boat. has closed. That um, that ship has sailed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that ship. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that you ship. Answered. Yeah. Okay, I see. <laughs> let's just say ship. That ship has sailed. That cruise ship. That cruise has ship. That's what I meant. I like That's that. what I meant. Ship. That I like ship that. has sailed. Oh. Cruise ship. Cruise ship. <laughs> cruise ship. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Denny, you're not the only one with a sense of humor in the room, yeah? I know, you I just know. didn't I see that one coming. I love it. Once, trust me, once Denny starts, I'm it. the pun like, queen. Once I, I get started, it's, it. like, it. it's yeah. late. It's late. It's late. Okay, right. so now you just do brothers. Mm, she loves her strong black strictly. brothers. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. But my question is still there. Did you, like, try? I know you said you wait for something to come <laughs> naturally, and then you saw it wasn't coming naturally, and you were like, it's okay. Don't come naturally. I don't. I'm not gonna put myself out there. Yeah, there's a lot of guys in Zim dance hall. <laughs> oh my days! <laughs> yeah. It's do you know what as well? I'm not gonna try and play that. Oh, I'm a celeb and it's hard to date card. Okay. But um, I just feel like I've had to be quite discerning because I've been in like the public eye, you know, for like a good 10, 12 years now. Yeah. And so it just makes me like really like just a bit more discerning. On the, you know? okay. Are there any Zim men in your DM? In the DMs? Yeah. Yeah, but more like on the creative, you know, like I oh, said, so I'm, I'm here to collaborate. Okay. Yeah, <coughs> not, there's no, there's no monitoring <laughs> of the sudden. I'm going to throw you in, in the kitchen type of thing. No, not yet. Not mm-hmm. yet. The, yeah. There's, you know. Are there any Zim men in your DM? 
For what? I'm just asking. No, no. They, 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 they know. They know not to do that. <laughs> uh, they, I, do. I like, how, I like how she, you know, she. Yeah. She just know to get here to a vibe. Like I can't really talk type thing. It's fine. No, fine, it's fine, a, girl. You got it's fans. A, you, you know what? If anything, yeah. On YouTube, in the comment section, Becky this, Becky that, Becky that. I all those people. At least some of those people okay. should end up in the deal, right, Nash? 100%. Oh you said, you know what? Where is Becky's phone? She won't show us. It's charging. Oh, no, she deleted. Yeah, that, that's that's so what she always says. It's charging. Ah. It's always charging. Ah. Whenever you ask. Mm. You know what I mean? I am Boshanda, I took my best. Nash and the phone. Yeah. 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 They are not in the DM like that. Okay. Yes. All right. All and right. we block it before it goes any further. <laughs> okay. Anywho, so with the nationalities, the cultures, which one has been your favorite that you're like, oh, mama? Mm. I, d- I don't even compare like that. Like, honestly, I can't. I just feel like black is beautiful and mm-hmm. we all have something unique and beautiful to offer. Okay. It's sometimes, it's, it's, also, it's also like, it's also about what you bring to the table. People are always focusing, what can someone bring for me? What can someone do for me? How can someone but isn't do that this? What? How come? Yeah, but like, like the more you work on yourself and, take. and the more like, the more you are like versed within your own sensual language, you're going to attract the right person with the right sensual language for you. Trust me. If you don't know yourself, it affects everything. Even certain departments. Kujinswa. Mm. Hey, Machines were written. And even <laughs> certain dep- you must know yourself. Know yourself. Physically, okay. spiritually, all of the things. You right. Know? Culturally. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are so, you in a relationship at the moment? Uh, like I said, certain things are just probably best. Guys, left for all camera. Give us something. Okay. I like okay. the Jamaican ones, the Chadian ones. Just anyone with a beautiful heart. You smiled really Smile. big on the Chaldean. On the Chaldean, oh, the Chaldean yes. did I? Yes, okay, did. so yeah, let's let's watch this space on that one then. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> 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 ah, it's a... The dude is from Chad, are we trying you know, to, Are we trying to let cats that out smile. of man's here? Is that what's happening? There, not because you smile, you like Jamaican ones, Chadians, ah. like that. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely something happening in Chad. It's okay. <laughs> no doubt, yeah. no uh, going back to the music, yes. who are some Let's of um, uh, the people you've worked mm. with, um, uh, some of the people you've collaborated with in the industry? I know you've done a lot of big things, a lot of big people. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've been really like fortunate to work with some amazing people. Um, yeah, I've, I've kind of hung out and had some great musical experiences with people like Adele, with people like... Um, yeah, will I am. I'm not really. Do you know what? I'm really terrible at the name dropping thing. Um, I just it's not really. But in the context of it of this, I feel like it's nice to drop those names because people like Will I Am and people like Neo, who I've mm-hmm. written music with, yeah. they actually I I put them onto Zim music, and they and they love it. Zim music. They loved it. Like literally coming home, um, Will I Am loved it. Like there's just coming home. There's something about. Um, when I broke it down as well, he was like, that bass line. And I was like, I had to break it down. I was like, look, this bass line, no one knows how, how old it is. This is an ancient bass line because obviously it comes from the Mbira song, Shumba, right? Uh, which was made famous by my uncle, Thomas Mafumo, actually, during right. the Chimorenga. So um, coming home is me basically being inspired by that bass line, right? Case in point. And just modernizing it, just updating it, just making it applicable and enjoyable for our generation. Right. So um, when I've worked with people like that, one of the things that they seem to say that they have in common, that they like working with me, is because I come from such a rich abundant pool of a musical culture they would not want to work with me if i was trying to be like them then they've got them they have like you know and i say that to a lot of musicians who are trying to sound like african-american or trying to sound nigerian who are trying to sound Ghanaian. do you boo because that is why they're coming that's why like even when you listen to you know music genres like i'm a piano or afro house or that thing has gone global now you've got americans in those bass lines is the same kind of um, staccato rhythmic bass lines that we have in Mbira. But we can't even see it half the time because, you know, we've been taught that the way to make it is to assimilate the sounds of the outside. I'm telling mm. you, songs like Coming Home and, and uh, musical genres like Ama Piano, you can hear the ancient Southern African Bantu sounds in there. And that's the kind of stuff that Will I Am loved. That's the kind of stuff that 
people like Neo loved. You know, so does that then answer so, our question about so, people loving Zim Sound? So yeah. Does Neo like Winky D or Japanese? <laughs> hey! <laughs> you know what? I <laughs> listen, I don't want to contribute that, to no beef, but I definitely played him um J- J- uh, Jar Prazer. Yeah. I think I played him the um, uh, the Gotch Gotch song because right. he, he wanted to have a barbecue and I was like, yeah, we'll call that Gotch Gotch. We'll call it a braai. He's like, what? What is Gotch? What's Gotch? Gotch what? Gotch what? It's Gotch yeah. what? Mm. So yeah, you know. I so you didn't play him Winky D? No, sorry Winks. Not this time. Uh, okay. Next time. Now now he's going to know because obviously, you know, the support for and the love for the song yeah. is so amazing that it's it's my first homegrown hit. So Next. You were surrounded by a, a whole background of music, and then yeah. you then decided to venture yeah. out on your own yeah. and doing all of that. You've been in Zimbabwe for how long now? I've been here for two weeks. I landed um, just like literally the uh, I got off the plane, went into one rehearsal, and did uh, the New Year's Eve performance with Winky D at Rainbow Towers. Will this be something that you'll be doing since you started your own record label now? Is it something that you'll be doing where you are taking, uh, or like literally like exporting the Zim Absolutely. sound? Absolutely. You know, I was saying to a dear friend of mine earlier, she was saying reminding me how much other people are benefiting in terms of remuneration from our culture. But, you know, the, our, our, our brains, our talent, our minerals, our ideas go out and fuel other people's, com- other people's companies, other people's, um, you know, revenue streams, other people's fashion sense, other people's music trends. But we are the ones that are not benefit- ben- benefiting from it because we still have a lot to learn about just how to appreciate it and how to and how to know that it's actually a legacy this birthright this creative cultural legacy we've got Mm -hmm. you know so many people are benefiting it from it apart from us some incredible zimbabwean producers that have produced for you know your some of the hugest artists on the ground or or, or in the globe you chris browns or whatever a lot of them are in zim but zimbabweans don't even know or they don't know how to integrate themselves back into the zim scene because the zimbabwean music scene is still growing so i yeah to answer that question i am here to do my best to make sure that everything i have achieved outside and all of this global success drives prosperity here because otherwise it's like I'm, 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 I'm giving it to the people who have already taken I didn't choose to be born that side yeah. they've already benefited f- benefit from me like I can't give these guys the credit anymore it's time to redirect our creative energy our um, intellectual energy and our intellectual property back here to grow mm. what was the experience like for you on the 31st? Oh my days! Literally, I was I was having butterflies just every minute. I was <laughs> I don't usually get like nervous before a show, but it, the energy, yeesh, Zimbas man. When we love something, we it's it's pandemonium. That's the way I can describe it. I was just there on the 14th floor. We're doing some pre shots for press. We were just touching up the makeup. And I literally felt like 10-year-old little Shing, man. I felt really giddy. I felt really exciting. It felt like I was finally coming home. Um, Did you feel like... um, uh, How did you feel when you came out? And I noticed from the videos, because I didn't go, (coughs) uh, a lot of people didn't actually know you. Yeah. Because prior to that, <laughs> Winky had introduced a even number you. of acts. Even yeah, you, yeah. Danny. Can you imagine? Even you. No, no, Danny later on. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> I knew you, but I didn't later. know that I knew you. <laughs> he, like, he later yeah. on yeah. caught you on to like, songs. oh, this yeah. is Shingai. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 We did the Haifa when I she was closed the blank the one. Yeah. Oh. I was the blank one. I was the one who No, no, I knew her, but I didn't know that that was her. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So how did that feel for you? Because you've done big things overseas. Uh, you're an established act, and uh, but you're not that popular back home. Exactly. Yeah, and so how did you feel when you came out, or uh, all, all it was? It was inconsequential for you. You, you no, felt it was like not nothing. Consequential. It was so self fulfilling because, like, let me tell you, I cannot reinforce enough, like how us a lot of us diaspora diasporans feel out there, so like disenfranchised from our culture. So actually. You're always dreaming of, like, you haven't made it until you've made it in your own backyard. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's that feeling that, okay, finally, like, I can 
bring a positive vibe, even if it's just for a song or for a moment of 5,000 people who half of them had their lighters and their phone cameras in the air. My energy, it was just like... No, we so, saw, we saw your energy. Which is funny to yeah. say, since the Zessa yeah. experience we had, but it was literally <laughs> electric. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, not to sound racist sorry, or anything. Guys. Yeah, yeah. What, what, was that your biggest black crowd, like mostly black crowd? Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that, that could, that that could biggest, easily be. That was some beautiful, mm, that was some hot people in that audience. I was like, because you're used damn. to performing to white people, man. Well, you, here's the thing most of us, not only diasporans, but a lot of black artists in the West who are talented are largely marketed to white people. Yeah. You know, especially in the UK and in Europe, less so in America because the African American culture is a lot more established, which is mm -hmm. beautiful. So they know how to market each other now to each other. They have got their own their own, you know, kind of situation going on, their own companies. And if there's a lot of there's a lot more independence. Whereas what you find in the UK, because it's like we've not been going there for long, we tend to sign to um uh, a, a huge white you know record company and you literally have to defend all of your choices the way your hair is styled girl like i didn't know that i would end up being a natural hair icon because i literally had to fight for the for the right to say you know what this this afro is going to be cut into a heart shape and that is going to be the album cover of an album that they did oh, yeah. not know would go on to sell millions of copies so like every single thing that you do every single little bit of marketing spend budget you have to fight for it you have to defend the right to just be yourself like or they're trying to turn you into you know a kind of lower grade version of whatever has been successful in the african-american scene mm. and you know we're different zimbabweans ghanaians kenyans jamaicans we are only one generation you know, kind of physically removed from our cultures. That's why the UK sound is so dope. And actually, yeah, actually why the African-Americans, yeah, thing. that's why I can play guitar music. I can play, because I also know that guitar music comes from African music. Most of the genres that we know and love today in pop music, you know, Africa still needs to get the credit. Like, she still needs to get her credit for that. So, so okay. you know, performing to, yeah, a largely black audience of beautiful people dancing and the added, like, drama of me not be them, like, having not announced me was, it was pretty hectic. But honestly, I, I felt my ancestors smiling that night, sis. I felt them smiling. Nice. Sure. Um, let's talk about your, your hit song with Winky Which one? D. With Winky Ooh. D. Oh, okay. Um, um, yeah. um, which one? <laughs> oh, okay. I like that. I like that. that she cocky like that. Yeah, right? she yeah. She's like, sorry. Yeah. 801,000 views two weeks. Two weeks I yeah. think oh. that's where we're at. Um, Zimba Zimbabwe. Tell us about how you linked up with Winky. Yeah, so we've been, um, I've been a fan of Winky from day. He's a huge household favorite with Amai Chipo and the Tetes that we spoke of earlier. Yeah. Um, so from Abracadabra. I've been a fan, and I think we were just. Abracadabra came out nice this time. It did. Yeah. 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 It well did. done. Even now. Well done, girl. Ah, yeah. well done. <laughs> it's sad now. <laughs> and you even gave him a high five. Sad yeah. now. Like, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Sad right. now. All right, I got it. Abracadabra. 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 Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. a that's a big hit. So mm -hmm. yeah, I think we just we um we connected in the DMs because for me as well, especially being in the diaspora, it's important that um a big part of my brand is making sure not just my brand, my personality is amplifying and cheerleading each other. Nice. That's really 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 important. So we we hooked up in the DMs, and then I actually started working on that song with him. I think it was about like a year ago, a year and a half ago, and then we shot the video uh, seven <coughs> months ago. And yeah, but you know, a lot of artists were sworn to kind of secrecy because things get leaked mm -hmm. and Winky's team are like especially precious about, you know, that kind of stuff. Nice. That's messed up, right? It's like you shooting a show and yeah. then, and then yeah. it gets aired eight months later. That's like... You and you didn't you know, Denny, Becky? did you? You yeah, didn't no, know nobody, about that. Nobody did. You that, didn't know about my that's, nobody that's amazing. <laughs> you don't know that's about That's like high-level secrecy. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if I'll be able to be quiet yeah, about like something yo. so exciting. I beg you, snitch on yourself. I yeah. never. Yeah. <laughs> 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 People sign more NDAs 
these days than any other contract is crazy, especially in our business. Right. Yeah. So, so did you sit down with Winky and were like, how do we, how do we unsettle the government? Oh, is that what you guys did? The way you ask these <laughs> questions, you're feathers, so blunt, Denny. How many feathers can we ruffle? Hmm. Hmm. Is that what you guys did? So me, like, you know, I'm not out there trying to intentionally ruffle feathers, you know, unless it's, you know, feathers from the other side that have done us wrong, you know, stories for, in the stories for other days kind of way. So he sent me the beat and I love the chorus. Um, generally, you know, when you want to do a collab with someone, you're not going to send them a full song with too many vocals on it because there's not enough space for you to kind of create your own story or your own verse or your yeah. own 24 bars or whatever it is mm -hmm. even if you're a rapper or a singer yeah. the the tendency is to send somebody just like the rough direction and i loved it i loved the chorus it resonated with me you know right is this the land <coughs> we died for we cried for i loved that because um i i needed to also for my own healing it, it helped me kind of say you know what like you know my dad didn't recover from the battle scars that he had, right, during the Chimurenga. So I lost a parent young, like so many of us did and still are. And, you know, whatever they died for, it cannot be in vain. So I that, that resonated with my values. Um, and then my verse, um, for me, did not, does not feel political. I'm not going to give politics all the credit for writing something from the heart, which was kind of more from a personal trauma where yeah. I was kind of saying, you know, if the world the world is a stage, the pain is a cage, aren't you? Aren't you tired of lying, Wanago? You're smiling through all of your rage. So listen to me softly. Time to rise up my family. What you thinking? So I'm referencing, you know, um, a Noisette's hit, uh, Never Forget You, which has had over 3 billion streams. Oh, let me break it down for you, okay? Jimbo nice. Mira. So I'm referencing... <laughs> I'm referencing <laughs> Never e, Forget yo. You. Mira, <coughs> yes. E. Yeah, so I'm referencing yeah. Never Forget You, which is reminding me of a time when I was perceived to be so successful and soaring these heights, but actually did not have much personal freedom, had to make a lot of compromises and, you know, still don't really have, we still don't have full rights and resolution with the entities that we were dealing with from that time, right? right. So, um, it was just like cheeky, let me nod <coughs> myself to my hip. Because even if I post Never Forget You, which like I said, has, had, has had billions of people streaming and revisiting and t doing TikToks about it, if I post something on my page, I get a no little, a little note from you know Universal Records saying you know the the, um, the 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 material that you're using or posting is a copyright infringement, and I'm like, am I chip or created this material? You didn't create that material. Oof. I'm loyal. You hear me? So so I, I put a little bit in there, and obviously now I'm independent. I've got my own label, Zimtron Records, which we launched in 2019. We're about to like facilitate it properly here, thanks to my peeps here. Yeah, Samantha, right, yeah. big up, Barney, big up, Tams, awesome big stuff. up. Yeah, yeah. So, so I was having to put in a very short space of bars, let me show the Zims who I am. Because as you said, people don't really know me. I, I just got <coughs> literally, I, I just got like a rabbit in the, in the head, deer in the headlights, thrusted onto this huge stage. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I literally, I had so much fun that I cart cartwheeled my way off of the stage, literally, like a crazy soccer that I can be when I'm having a lit time. So I put that little noise that's reference in there because then, you know, you can also re revert to that and you can see the earlier catalog. But the other bit before I was saying, so listen to me softly, time to rise up my family. That is about me trying to inspire this, um, this Zimbabwean unity, which I think is really, really, really important because actually, as my friend was saying, and we'll look at my notes, internal division ain't cute, right? And that's mm -hmm. what the outside wants to see. So I've got a very objective, maybe unique perspective that not all Zimbabweans have because I'm out there rooting for Zim. Right. Which is why like I'm like Zim, Zim, Zimba. Who got the keys to my bim? I like Zim, Zim. <laughs> you know, I'm like all Zim. Every day, all day. And you know, um, I also feel like objectively we have to unite to kind of defeat this kind of common enemy outside, which is this post-colonial, 
violations that just shouldn't really still be happening in okay. my personal opinion you know across the sectors <coughs> so you know i just think that there's 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 equally as much more corruption and all these things politically happening outside more than there actually arguably is here like i i live in england don't ask me about politics we've had three four pre presidents in the last year so why are we trying to you know kind of i don't know i just feel like we sometimes we model um, our discourse and our public discourse on the way that people do things that side. Mm -hmm. But that's not really Ubuntu because Ubuntu is about listening to each other and letting people have their own opinions. And so when I finally heard the song with, um, with Winky, I meet and, and, I, and I agreed to do the video. I agreed with the general tone because the general tone was just him saying, as a Zimbabwean, we don't want child marriage. It's in the video. So was this the first time that you had so that I you were hearing the yes before the, the, the video. full song? Yes. Was the first time that you'd heard it now? Yeah. Yes. So 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 take us through the process. Yeah. Because we've had a situation with uh, Holy Ten. Okay. Holy Ten did yeah. a song called Iboto on the same album, yeah. and when the song came out, mm -hmm. he was like, "No, this politics that Winky is talking about, I'm not involved. Yeah. I don't know what politics." Uh, in the song, because I heard the song, I thought it was just a song, yeah. Yeah. general about commentary about what's happening, happening right? Like, yeah. So, so then he tried to distance himself from the project, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, obviously maybe to uh, make sure that um, it doesn't affect his livelihood or whatever. I don't know. Okay. So, what? How does the process go? You, you Winky says, "I want to do a song." Yeah. Uh, and then, wh how does the brief go? He says, "I want to do this song." Well, does he go, I want to do this song about rattling the government, or I want to do this song <laughs> yeah. about the struggles that the people are facing, mm -hmm. or I want to do a song to this beat. What do you think? How he does it go? Really, he said, really, I want to do this song with you because um, I feel like we need to be braver and bolder to, as musicians and as artists, to you know speak the truth from our own experiences. And also, it's okay to say we can do better. Like, that's actually okay nice. to say okay. we can do better. There's nothing political in um, in depicting, you know, some of the issues which are really just, like, debilitating us at the moment, yeah. debilitating us at the moment. Like, child marriage is in the video. Right. Drug abuse is in the video. Yeah. We don't want that. Yeah. Like, yeah. for me, I just felt like... Um, he was saying, you know, things from his heart that me as an artist, I also need to listen to him because like if you, you know, we have to listen to each other in order to learn and to grow. We have to all be able to accept, you know, constructive criticism for diplomacy to ensue. You get me? Mm -hmm. So also like another thing that has really irked me is that, you know, like no shade to you, but because uh, everyone's been asking me, Mm -hmm. But people just keep seeming here to focus on like this political angle, which was not intentional when no one has asked me, unless it's in the diaspora, oh my days, wow, this child marriage, that's deep, that's increasing, that's bad. Like, and my <coughs> niece in that video, she's so brave and bold. She's playing the nine-year-old girl that has been sold to some... You know, to some, some old man, mm -hmm. yeah? No one's asked me about that. No one's asked me about, you know, the drug abuse, of which is also affecting my family as a diaspora, and we're sending money for family members to go yeah. into <laughs> rehab. <laughs> yeah. Like, right. since um, when was politics more important than our girls Yeah, but, being but you know, you know, you know why um, I get the song. Hmm. You know? I get what uh, Winky is saying in the music, mm. and it it's resonates. Border. It resonates border. with a lot of people. Yes. But when you listen to the song, yeah. without looking at the video, uh -huh. it's a whole different story, right? Because the video then depicts something else. But if you just listen to the lyrics of the song, is this the land that we fought for, that we died yes. for? Which Sadaro. cannot be in vain. But then also he's also so, saying, so, night and day so, my heart so is bleeding. So what I want you to, to when do, I see what I want you to do is, I want you to yeah. disregard the video because not yeah. everybody's going to watch the video. Yeah. Yeah. And then when you listen to those lyrics, right, I get exactly what Winky was trying to do and whatever, and I got no problem mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. The, the, the guys on the other side, the ones who, who seem to have a problem with it, 
uh, they are saying that uh, Usadaro, you know, when it's like a question. Right. Like, who are you asking this question to? Because yes. if, you, if you are saying, if you're is saying this the land Usadaro, that we fought for, yes. that we did okay. for, it, all of us. it then comes out like you're asking the government to say, Usadaro. Also, we can hear. Do you, get, do, do you get where they're coming from? I get you, but I yes. also feel like we can hear selectively. And also, I want to pass the mic to Sam quickly. Mm. Usadaro don't do so many things. He says, you know, like, night and day, my heart is bleeding. When I look to the poor and needy, I cry. He's saying to all of us, we can do better. Usadaro. Don't and sit there and let things happen that don't need to happen. I, yeah. I, I agree with you there. I think what we generally have a problem with in, in Zimbabwe is that we've got this saying, and unfortunately that's how we operate. It's, it's, it's like, if you have a problem, it's not my problem. Uh, you know, it sounds like a you problem. You know, that term we say, that sounds like a you problem. You know, and unfortunately, uh, we've lost the context of how the song was made. You've got two people from two different back backgrounds. Someone who's got a Southland, raised in South London. You've got somebody who's uh, raised in uh, Kambuzuma, right? Who have come together to, on a common uh, ground of saying, why is she all the way in diaspora, um, you know, not being uh, known by her people? That's a tragedy. Why is Winky singing the things that he's singing, his experiences? And they come together in a common um, goal of saying, because if we don't actually address our issues, we've got an intolerance problem, you know? Okay. And that's why that trailer, he brought that trailer out, because that trailer before the whole show was say no to intolerance. So we, he actually proved us right, we're very intolerant. Even, you know, because you can't even say, oh yes, we, we, we're intolerant to certain uh, political parties. Actually, even if you're in the main uh, <coughs> political party, you still have, you know, when people, you know, s sign with the president or uh, do a picture, you get mocked or you get, oh, we're unfollowing you. We cancel somebody because of cancel culture. Cancel mm -hmm. culture. Cancel and I think that's yeah. what generally we have. So everything we do, uh, we, we're not considering being empathetic to other people. So we have to start listening to each other, allowing out each other to talk, talk about our traumas, our, traumas, our, our um, you know, issues so that we can heal and help each other. That's what Ubuntu is. I am because you are. Woo! So, okay. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. I just I felt comfortable yeah. enough with the intention and it, it just so felt you were okay with it you have no issues with the song whatsoever like blast it please rip the knob off I feel m m the only issues that I have is that it's becoming a very single story we're focusing on like you know a very we're focusing on it through almost a western lens a political lens. As you were saying earlier, give me the stats to how much money has been put into... In fact, let's tell the listeners how much money oh yeah, has the, been the spent EU to, 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 to fight child trafficking yeah, and gender-based violence. Yeah. And they said, after they did their stats and everything, they discovered that Zimbabwe was the only African country within, within Southern Africa, mm -hmm. was the only country that did something about gender-based violence. Right, and then the other nations, they just... Well, they're away. just talking and, you know, not really pushing, like, any substantial work that they can so, be so, like, So okay. the government is doing good on that side of things? They are, because do you, I think you remember some episodes ago, we spoke about it, and right. there was a bill that was passed, and, you know, people mm. were, like, signing it and everything, mm. that um, something must be done to these people who... Uh, you know, engaging in child marriages. Yes. And then they shifted the age and they say oh, yeah. it must be from this age to that age. And then, so they, they, they saw the shift. Right. So the EU was like, no, we are going to do something about it, which is where you're saying, this is where your heart breaks, that people are focusing mm. on the, co the, the, yeah. the lyrics of the song it's and the not... The word democracy is the only thing that I really felt was overtly political. That's the only overtly political word in the whole song. He says, you talk about democracy, all I see is hypocrisy. For me, because I'm an artist as well, and I look at things very, um, it's almost like, what's the thing, uh, wordplay, it's, it's like uh, analogy-wise, I'm, I'm also thinking he's not just limiting the word democracy to democratics, to democracy in politics he's talking about democracy as sam said in families in communities what about ubuntu to democracy mm -hmm. where we listen to each other and hear each other out we cannot literally 
progress if we don't hear because actually even if you don't hear just as much as you don't want to hear someone's weaknesses then we're not going to be able to actually even hear the skills and actually as, as I said earlier the world is making a lot of money from our output there's a massive brain drain that's happening here that as a diasporan I want to see that being reversed this is the land this is the land they cried for, they died for, and we can turn we can turn it around, you know, but we have to start by listening and not fearing. Like, if you're a really smart person, you cannot fear just an opinion of someone else, you know. We're all d different, unique people, and we shouldn't always see opinions as personal attacks. Mm. Yeah. That is, do you know what I mean? That's, that's smartness. Yeah, that's real. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that is so uh, ish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You registered to vote? Sorry? Are you registered to vote? Personally, I don't. Um, can you vote here? Th yeah. Can she? No, I don't think. I don't think no, I can. She can vote because yeah. I've okay. got the, I've got the foreign passport. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that aside, I I'm really just trying to advocate the change that I can make, and the change that I can make is not necessarily political, but it's one of cultural upliftment, cultural reclamation cultural, you know, um, restoration and therefore cultural revival. And that leads to cultural revenue. Let's get it. Nice. Let's get it. Hmm. I like that. Yes. Uh, have you considered politics? Huh? <laughs> this is, the, everything is so, everything has to be about politics. Ah, you guys do each politics. Have you considered that. politics? You know, you don't, you don't, you don't want to be um, a counselor in, in, in Lewisham? <laughs> oh my God, what do you know about <laughs> What? I know everything. Oh, Listen, um, uh, so I'm going to stick with, you know, what I yeah. do. I, and I, I'll listen to what everyone has to say. But my job is to, I said, reclaim, yeah. restore, revive, and remunerate. That's okay, my job. All right. I like, I like how you responded to um, the question there. Uh, Holy 10. Holy 10, yes. I know Holy 10. Uh, like I said before, he distanced himself uh, over what Winky did. So yeah. it was important for me to ask you how the process works. Because he was saying... We did a song. I didn't know what Winky was going to put on the song. So I, I, we, we kind of felt like that was unrealistic. But from the way you said it, it's possible that an artist can have you do your verse on a song? It, it, it's and definitely possible it. with the way that some teams work, Winky's included, that mm -hmm. you know he didn't feel in a position to, to overshare too much of the final you product. Know, of the final product. Yeah. But, but the final product would have to be signed off. By Holy Ten's team, so so he would know yeah, at the end of uh, but, but, the production. But you production. can forgive him for not being, you know, involved in the process like that because that's the. What that's are the, the chances that he did not hear the full song until the day that they the album, well, if he didn't the hear the released. full song, then he's n he wouldn't have signed the release form, which means he's probably wouldn't be entitled to the remuneration that he's there due. So someone in his team, hopefully. You know, maybe they just... I, I can't speak for other artists. Uh, possibly. Nani? Uh, I wouldn't know, <laughs> G. I wouldn't know, G. But, but, but I, 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 I kind of get it. Like, if, if, for example, he's getting support uh, from certain quarters and then he's perceived to be Fighting a bad guy type thing... Know. And then you'd in, you'd obviously want to say like no I don't know this is what's going on I, I think even you would do that sort of thing I would definitely do that <laughs> <laughs> I actually th I think it's a shame you know if, yeah. if 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 artists feel like we can't stand behind creative decisions that felt in the moment to be genuinely beneficial for the greater good and I just I don't feel like at the moment like I don't feel wink I don't know how the greater time. good. Yeah. Um, comes through once you're nicely fed. Uh, Nobody is going to advocate for the greater good when they're hungry. That's why I right? Am I right, Nash? 100%. Yeah. You, you but 100. But yeah. also, it would be nice if, like, you know, that side can see that Zimbabwe is a pro progressive place where creativity can <coughs> flourish without fear and that everybody yeah. can be heard. I, I think that's, that's really nice yeah. to that we're going I, in I that think, direction. I think it's only fair to give uh, credit to the government because uh, all this noise that's going on is actually from foot soldiers. Officially, the government, ZANU-PF, nobody has castigated this project. Mm. 
officially. And mm. the people who are dissing and saying all sorts of stuff, it has not come from the uh, Secretary of Information from ZANU-PF or from the government. So It's still a speculation. So it's, it it's one of those things where um, somebody can s- s- hear the song and say, ah, but I took him the wrong way. Over a tongue out of fight, you understand? <laughs> but Mudara Pamana problem now. Do you get what I'm saying, Nash? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then so so it's one of you know, people do that, right? Like, you know, they they're like looking out for their big man or whatever. So but should the big we only man, start getting the, worried when, when the big man when says big man say I have a problem with this song. Or somebody senior in the party mm-hmm. says it officially. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But uh yeah, but otherwise I think as of now no panic. Uh, I think we can turn the page and say that it's a, I feel like it's a success. Yeah. In the fact that at least it's igniting really important conversations and you know um you know if 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 if, if the song does begin to be something that is played on on on, on the radio that would be amazing as well but just what it's doing in Are they not playing it? Media, I haven't heard it yet. Yeah. Don't ask me because I don't play I that music on my yet. show. Becky K? I, and th- I just Nash, say don't ask me. Are they not playing uh, Shingai's song? I haven't heard it yet. They, I'm sure they are. No, she says she hasn't heard it. Yeah. What does that mean? They're playing it, but they're not playing it. I don't um, understand. Because if you haven't heard it, it's they're Zimbabwe probably language. Not playing. To, oh. I think Samantha will explain to you. They Who's are supposed playing? to be playing it. Vocal, playing vocal, it. are they playing the song? Like um, I haven't re- heard it on rotation yet. I, I think I've heard uh, Enzo's song. It's a party one, guys. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Um, is it because the DJs don't like it or yeah, they probably perceive not, it it's, it's, to be a political song? It's, it's something that, <laughs> that goes with the, what, what the DJ wants. We can't... So all DJs play. basically no. don't yeah. want. No. DJs don't don't choose no. their songs anymore. No. They are put in rotation by somebody programmer and programmer music. There's a music programmer so who puts in the songs. Right but now, then so, so do we have to? Sessions, there's listening uh, sessions that happen. So we gotta we gotta interview the programmer. <laughs> H1. Who, who's got who's got <laughs> answers? Got no, in interview we bears. We have Becky Look for radio someone DJ from yeah. Becky. Becky, a radio DJ, ZFM yeah. stereo, okay, my so, station. So, in my station. defense, why I don't have full answers for this is because my show is a gospel show. Okay, so next time you go on shift, go <laughs> right. in the system and check Look up Zimba Zimbabwe. Okay, can I just say? Can I just say? You know what? I think you know a lot of the issues we have is it's out of fear. You know, so maybe because the day the song came out, you know, you already there was noise people, around. There it. was noise around it. So no radio so, station. So wants I, to I, I do, and I do, and I don't I don't think it's fair for people to say, oh, they're not playing it and all that because mm. it's actually we're still two weeks into the song, True. right? That's a very short time, short you know, time. and it builds, it grows, and a lot of projects have been online hits and then eventually then they go radio, radio. They to, to rotation. Literally, Zim Dancehall was built on that structure. Mm-hmm. People wouldn't, didn't want to play Zim Dancehall tracks at the time because they weren't mixed and mastered properly. So okay. they started popping online, and then you'll hear them on radio. So ah. I think yeah. let's give them a fair chance Absolutely. to say yeah. when the popularity is there. So how long, how long must we give them? <laughs> yeah. True. I just, I just as, I, as, as, I, as I said, there's a lot of uh, I think clout chasers or people because you haven't heard anyone official saying. Is that. the answer for like, which? Yeah. Like 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 Shingi, I've got my my father's generation for Chimurenga, and I had phone calls from my dad's friend saying, Ah, so you're 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 cancelling drugs and child marriages. They act, the ones They're who actually from a the different war. They're actually saying to so. us, Well done. Now oh. you're finally addressing. Take advantage of what we fought for. Ah, so, to me, I th- I'm saying there's a lot of fear oh. involved. It's not actually fact. Okay. Samantha okay. Usadaro. I'm talking about facts. Okay. I'm talking about facts. All right, let's talk about uh, the other stuff that you're into. You work with Amnesty International. Tell us about. Uh, your involvement, you did something, yeah. did you do a concert yeah, project? Yeah, what was that uh, about? Yeah, yeah, I've done, I did, um, I did a project, project with uh, Annie Lennox um, from the Euro of Mix, and yeah. it was just a song just highlighting um, a lot of, you know, just a, a lot of international issues yeah. um, in terms of, you know, human rights and, and freedom and, and HIV and, and, okay. and that kind all of stuff. All that good stuff. Mm. So, so, yeah, but right now, I am really just wanting to use my voice to, you know, um, uplift um, initiatives here in Zimbabwe because well, really literally I, I had moments in my career where people were like, my own press, my own PR team on that side were like, 
you know, you're compromising your, you know, your opportunities for like further investment or for like, you know, like for example, like when we, uh, that, that there was an album that we had that went, that went platinum, they spent, you know, um, so many thousands of dollars on that. And let's just say it was under, you know, it was a, literally like, it was under a hundred K. And if you want something to pop and to be positioned and to be like everywhere, you need to spend like, at that time, you probably need to spend 300, half a million upwards, you know, and I was signed to the, I was signed to the same label as Kanye, Mr. Hudson, all these people. But I was almost like the office bet. I just think they were just so blown away by my Zim audacity, my, I mean, the things that I attribute to, you know, my mm. chip a lot of the time. But um, we didn't get the spend that we should have got. Let's just say we got a fraction of that. So in order for me to sell and to get those numbers, I had to take that project on the road, per ground for like three years, yeah? I did not turn down a gig. Doesn't matter if it was a freaking care home, whatever. <laughs> you were there. Pubs, clubs, bar mitzvahs, arenas, done it. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And actually now I'm really grateful for that experience because it's made me the dexterous artist that I am today. Like you can't, like my creative maverickness, it's there, I don't know any black woman that is proudly, you know, knows where she's coming from, that is in the sphere that has covered as many genres that I have just comfortably because of the love of music, not trying to show off for the sake of it, but music. And I understand the cultural potency and currency of art so much because I see that's how the colonial sides, they used culture to do their own PR. Mm -hmm. They manipulated other people's cultures. They siphoned other people's cultures to build up their own. So we really, really need to take control and get back in the saddle of, of and take back the reins of our own culture. Do you know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, for me, you know, doing the whole kind of like noisettes yeah. thing, it's always been to get me to this point and beyond. All right, okay, now we're about to wrap up. Let's talk yay. about goes, next <laughs> model management. You signed with, uh, are you a model? Yo, yes, I do model. Yes, I'm a model, that's right, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, how's that going? Mm, action. It's, I don't know, for me, like, I love... Like a lot of us Zim girls, I love dressing up. I love outfits. Oh, yeah. I love the flamboyance. I love the different hairstyles. For me, and, and any opportunity to like, you know, show show the little girls them that, you know what, black beauty is beautiful. You know, it's like, I just love it. I, I, there's not really too much to say on that. It's just like a, another thing that I do because... I love photo shoots. I love the energy in a room when you've got the stylist and like, you know, the makeup artist and everyone puts their art together. We were talking about it earlier. Obviously you were, you know, you, you know, yeah, you, you kind was, of switched off when yeah, we started talking about off. makeup. Ooh, no but you were there. ready for your own D-shine though. You know <laughs> Let's I mean? not forget that. <laughs> CBBs. CBBs, yes, I am the voice of Teal from Abney and Teal. Um, one of the biggest hit children's programs in the UK oh. nice. in the last five years. Yeah, they, Tell they me heard me doing an interview five. and they contacted me. I read somewhere that the lady, who, I, I don't know if she's still doing it now or if she managed to retire, the lady okay. who was doing Peppa Pig's voice, yeah, like she was getting paid hefty yeah. amount for that voice. So she's getting paid a hefty There's amount you know what it is? Yeah. Guys, guys, I cannot stress there is money in creativity. The best businesses are flourishing because those people are commercially creative, y'all. Nash, do you ask uh, the, the, the final just question? DJ Towers. Whatever you do, just be creative. Network. Yeah. And you will make the money. <laughs> yes. yes. Is that all? You're, you're, be creative. I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> No, Before that's the net worth. That's good. Before the net worth. Do you make your own clothes or what happens? Here? Are you um, a designer? It's, do you know what? It's a, mi it's a mixture of both. I'm going to be definitely starting my own line. I've been doing some really amazing um, collaborations since I, hit, since, since I hit the ground here. I'm working with an incredible um, art just art group, art group called Calligraph. Shout out to them. They're amazing. They're literally lighting up the country um, with their amazing murals. I don't know if you've seen their beautiful, fabulous m murals in, um, in uh, what do you call it? What's the other one? The one that always sounds like a swear word, so I'm scared to say it. <laughs> Mfakos. Mirios. The, the ones by I, the, I, by the flats. Like a yes. Because Those, when I heard yo, it, it sounds like a swear word. The ones, that you, the ones on Rotten Row? 
Yeah, those Pamona, lads? Pamona, Mbare, oh, nice. Mfakos. You've seen those, right? Oh, yeah, I've yes. seen them, but... They're really nice. They're little kids. I literally cannot the, say that word. I like the oh, ones with the little kids, though. That's, that's dope. Like the it never sounded to us like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 but the ones with the little kids were done during Haifa. Oh, those are dope. They're beautiful, guys. You really... They're called who? Yeah, you should check out Calligraph. 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 Are they are they white folks, black folks? Liz Ten, Liz Ten. Yeah, we need to know. Like and they Liz are Ten, Liz Ten. They're black and proud. They're oh, Zimbas. No, one of them is dope. from um, one of them is from Matopos, Blaweo. Right. He goes by the name of Uleni. You've also yeah. got um, Marcus, 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 and you've got Nyasha. So, and they also work with a lot of amazingly talented Zimbabwean female artists. They're they're in Umbare, um, Paz, uh, Pazarangu. At um at a disused shabin, which they've create, which they've tran- like transformed into the most amazing art space, and some of the yeah. artists there, like Moffat, I can't remember his name, um, yeah. Shoniwa, That's art, cool. they are they are exhibiting <coughs> their work in places like you know um, just all over the world. Speak so, to so our producers. We need to take so check to, out to go there and calligraph, and, and that falls back into the fashion. I'm nice. gonna be doing some merchandise mm-hmm. with um, local Zimbabwean brands and i also have a chicken bus um which was painted for the song that i did last year um the i'm a piano song um with versus i did last year which yeah. is called um oh my gosh no fear, no fear. i've had so many songs out there. yeah <laughs> so it's called no fear check yeah. it out and there's a bus which was painted by calligraph that goes all around. Dope. Yeah. We'd like yeah. to see it. Do you have visuals for it? Baco Media can put it up. We, yeah, we're going to give them to you and then you can just attach nice. them to the video. Okay, great. So the fashion is coming, the art is coming. It's blessed. Oh, that's dope. Uh, Thank you. Anything else? No, what I we got? I think we're, we're good, yeah. We're good. We're looking nice, though. Yeah. Thank no. you. Thank and those you so earrings, much. those earrings yes. are bomb. Where can Oof. the people get them? And so also give us your Deco. socials. Oh, yes. Yeah, so give this us is the socials. Okay. These, these earrings are by Afro Deco. She's an amazing um, Jamaican British uh, jewelry designer. Uh, she's based in Canada at the moment. She's Afro Deco because she's really inspired by Afro African art right. and Art Deco. So it's a little play on words. Yeah, you can find her on on Instagram, and um, my <laughs> Insta handle is. Shingai! <laughs> I, I actually prefer most people. I prefer to oh, be called the Shingi. I. It's AI. So AI it's okay. At Shingai, yes. At Shingai on Everywhere. Instagram. And then, and then the, the, what's the Spotify one? Is it Shingi Music? Shingai Twitter is Shingai Music. TikTok is Shingai Music. Everything else is Shingai, Shingai, Shingai. Okay. Oh, nice. Shingai bold, with an I. Be bold. Check out Too Bold because that album will change your life. That is dope. Not before we, because I made it. Before we it shut it down, mm-hmm. I'm going to do something and then you must finish it off. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, do I? No, I've got a boo instead of a chair. No, uh, <laughs> get a chair. Uh, okay. Uh, get close to the mic. Get close to the mic. We're about to shut this down. Okay, I'm going to take All you right. back. All right. Way back in the time, like 13 years ago. Back in time. time. Okay. Let right. go. Here we go. All right. Go baby, go baby, go. Don't upset the rhythm, don't you dare. Go baby, go baby, go. Don't upset the rhythm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Shigai. You you've been amazing. Whoa. You've been amazing. Thank you so much for coming through. All uh, the best, guys. all the best, all the best with everything Thank that you're doing. Baco Media. The camera's on. Merchandise. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's pay the bills right now. You know what I mean? Let's pay the bills. <laughs> well, the channel the is sponsored bills. by Boys the Turners, the clothing brand. Available at Remo's Joyce Lundika, 13 Joyce Lundika Avenue, right? And the, the airport. City and the airport. This is Africa. T shirts, caps, and what have you. Go buy them because they're paying the bills. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Turn on notifications. Turn on the notifications. So that when we upload something, you are the first to check it out. Yeah. That's it, Becky I've subscribed. Yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. So let's go to let you know. Let's go. Danny, I'm hungry. Ah, same. Woo! Is it a wrap? It's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Bitch! <laughs>